Hi, Nancy. What's up? Do you know what the words gumbo foo mean? I'm not sure. I've never heard that before. I'll let you get back to your renovation. So long. Fire! It's too late! Fire! I talked to everybody in the house, and none of them can figure out what caused the fire. Maybe I should take Lewis's advice and cut my losses before it's too late. What advice? He has a client who might want to buy the place. Someone with more experience and money to finish all of the renovations. What do the fire department say? They think the fire was caused by sparks from the fireplace, since it doesn't have a screen. And I specifically told Charlie to buy one. How could he have forgotten? No, I am bound and determined to stick with this house no matter what. Nothing can drive me away. I don't care if it's fires, earthquakes, or Mr. Valdez with his gang of ghosts. Excuse me for prying, but why did you spend so much money to insure the house against fire? For protection. I've put my entire life savings into this house, and if it goes up in smoke, I'll lose everything. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye. Hey, Nancy. I hear there's been another accident. You've got to believe me, I didn't have anything to do with it. I just hope Rose doesn't blame me for this one. Rose mentioned the fire screen you were supposed to get. But I did buy it. Lewis told me that it was the wrong type and said he'd get another one, so I returned it. And that's all there is to it? Everyone thinks I'm causing these accidents because I was always the last one there. But I had nothing to do with them. I can tell you this. There's something unusual going on in this house. So, do you have any proof? I'd better not say any more. Sorry. Who was the last person you saw in the parlor before the fire? I've been working mostly in the basement, but I think I saw Abby go through those papers right before the fire. I'll let you get back to your renovation. Bye. Ah, Nancy, what a shame to have lost those papers. And to think that we almost lost the house. Rose is very fortunate to have you here. 
Did you hear anything in the parlor before the fire started? No, I'm afraid not. I'm somewhat isolated here. With these thick walls, I barely hear anything. Were the papers very valuable? Not for my purposes, no. But they must have had some sentimental value. Do you know why the fireplace in the parlor didn't have a screen? No, I don't. Mm, no, no, I remember. I, I was to purchase an antique fire screen, but never found a suitable match. I feel just terrible. I must apologize to Rose about this. Do you think Rose should sell the house? I leave that decision up to her. She's put an extraordinary amount of time and money into it, and I'm not sure if she can afford what it'll take to complete the renovations. But whatever her decision, I will assist her however I can. I won't keep you any longer. Nice to see you again. Drew Residence, Hannah Groon speaking. Hi, Hannah. Hi, Nancy. There was a fire in the parlor, but I put it out in time. Thank goodness. I just hope nobody was hurt. Rose told me she was afraid that house was a fire trap. I'm just so glad you were there to save the place. Hannah, do you think Rose could have started the fire to collect the insurance on the house? No, not at all. Rose loves that house. It's her dream come true. I can't imagine her doing something like that. She's very determined to open that b and I should get back to work. Goodbye. Goodbye, dear. Hello? Hi, Bess. What's up? You'll never believe this, but things have gotten even more complicated. I found some clues that there might be buried treasure in the house. Wow! Oh, Nancy, it sounds like you've got a real case on your hands. How can we help? There was a small fire in the house, but luckily I put it out. But the old papers that Abby found were destroyed. Things are really starting to heat up, Nancy. Ugh, and so are the bad puns. Why would someone want to burn those papers? I bet there was something in them that was important. I'd take another look at the scene of the fire for any clues. Yeah, that's a good idea. I should get going. Talk to you later. Call us!
Hi, Emily. It's Nancy. Listen, my dear, I'm off to a photo shoot in Mexico, even though I don't know why they're sending me down there again. I just got back a couple of months ago, but who knows what goes on in my editor's mind, always thinking of new ways to make my life miserable. <laughs> anyway, what was I saying? Oh, yes, I'll find out what that phrase means before I go, okay? Okay, good luck. I'm glad you dropped by. You know, I wanted to tell you that you'll be alone in the house for a while. Everyone is going to the Winter Festival, and Charlie's studying for finals. I also took down one of the tapestries in your room for dry cleaning, and what was the other thing? Oh, a messenger dropped off a letter for you. I put it in your room. Are you missing any papers? Funny you should ask. Yes, I did misplace some old letters, but I'm sure they'll show up soon. I can see you're busy. I'll let you go. Bye, Nancy.
something's missing here. <laughs> when the moon sleeps and the sun plays,
It's stuck. Gold! And to think I was standing on it all along. <laughs> Too bad no one will ever find out about it. Lewis? I knew it! There must be over a million dollars in here. I've got to stop him before he gets away. So long, losers. And you just let him get away? There was nothing I could do. I'm sure there was something you could have done to stop him. Well... You probably had to act fast and didn't have enough time. I guess this mystery's solved. Unfortunately, the bad guy got away. This time. What? Hey! Hey, hey! Get me out of here! Dear Bess, I'm just about finished with my renovation work and counting out all of those gold coins. Lewis was behind all of the accidents, hoping to pressure Rose into selling the house so he could find the treasure himself. Although Rose and Abby may not have a legal right to the gold, the bank the coins were stolen from will still give them a reward for finding it. The house also has gotten a lot of publicity with all of the news stories, and the place is booked solid for the first month of its opening. I guess a haunted bed and breakfast with hidden treasures is all the rage these days, even if there are no such things as ghosts. Uh, I think. See you soon, Nancy.